Pence did to get elected. Uh, those of so us at the highest echelons of the maybe campaign were talking this week about or maybe they don't. On the media, we heard about new rules that will be set up. Uh, they're not yet made public, but here was the answer given to Chris Wallace from yesterday. Give our viewers a chance to hear this. Now. We have to create rules and regulations for conduct, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're doing that. We're going to write them up right now. It's not a big deal. Nobody believes in the First Amendment more than I do. And if I think somebody's acting out of uh, sorts, I will leave. I'll say thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you coming, and I'll leave. And those reporters will not be too friendly to whoever it is that's acting up. So do we know what the new rules are, Kellyanne? They're in process, and look, the judge's opinion had to do with the Fifth Amendment of process, the due process. It did not have to do with the First Amendment. You don't have a First Amendment right to be in the White House. Once you are allowed in, of course, then there needs to be a process. So that's exactly what the press shop is working on. But what the president said is incredibly instructive, Bill. He is saying that if somebody ruins it for everyone else, if, if the president had walked away early in that press conference, which is when the exchange occurred, then he would not have answered 68 questions from 35 reporters, which is exactly what he did. He is the most transparent, accessible president in, in our lifetime, if not ever. He's willing to stand there. He's willing to gaggle. He's willing to give all these interviews. He's willing to stand on the South Lawn. He's willing to uh, in, have a talk during a pool spray about policy. And, and yet, well, I, if I somebody, one or two are going making, to ruin but, that. Right. You, you may have a lot of White House correspondents watching this interview wondering what the new rules are and what they have to um, that pay attention to. The press shop to. is deciding so, so that. The press shop know? is deciding that. I think you'll you'll hear that in the next uh, few days or few weeks. I'll okay. leave that to them. But what, in the meantime, the, here we sorry, are. What, what are the bounds then by which those reporters need to operate when there's new rules? Well, come the out? president has made clear that he believes that when you come to the White House, and I agree, you should show respect for the presidency. You should show respect and decorum for the White House. And some do, and some do not. But I would also point out that the particular outlet in question has 50 White House passes. I'm told around 50 White House passes. They clearly have continued to be a 24-7 outlet without that reporter at work for those few days or so. And they continue to be fairly anti-Trump most of the time. Tune in sometime if you can, if you can stand the venom and the poison. I try to go on there and state the, the, the president's case. Uh, when I when I feel like it's suitable, um, invited well, there you pretty said often. In the coming days or even a couple of weeks, so let's let's I'll wait in the White House to give us that guidance. Uh, in the meantime, is that reporter allowed back in the White House? Because I was given a note about an hour ago that the White House made a quote preliminary decision to suspend a hard pass for Jim Acosta yet again. Uh, are, are you fighting this? I am not aware of that. I am not aware of anything happening in the last hour, and I would have to talk to the press shop about that. But okay, so obviously, obviously, it was is, reinstated. Is, is he, he came here. I got it. Is he allowed access to the White House today? I don't know. I don't know that answer. I've got somebody from the press shop standing right here. So I don't know that answer. Uh, but I, I want to broaden the conversation out to the White House press corps and freedom of the press. The president is absolutely right when he says nobody likes the First Amendment more than him. He's so accessible. He's always giving the answers. He sends us out here uh, to talk about that. And I'm, I'm on TV almost every single day trying to talk about policy. But look at just last week. All the coverage, Bill, was about who works here, not the work that is done by the people who work here. Are we not interested in policy? Are we not interested in, in what goes on here and the many different things that happen through the cabinet rather than just who's in the cabinet or who's up or who's down. And, and I guess eventually everybody will be right. Everybody will leave at some point, including the president six years from now. But well, isn't we, there just the least bit for, of shame? Yeah, we'll make, isn't the we'll least bit of shame that, that the headlines and, and, the, and, and the Twitter anytime, explodes about palace intrigue? It's really uh, silly. Anytime you want to talk policy, again, you're invited to come back here and discuss Well, thank that. you. Kellyanne, thank you so thank much you so for much. your time today. Kellyanne Conway for the North Lawn. Have a great week and a great Thanksgiving. Fox News alert now on another big story.